Welcome to another Python QGIS, PyQGIS tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be working with vector layers, and we're going to be accessing the attributes of vector layers. So this will probably be a pretty quick video. This is something we covered briefly in the tutorial uh, on adding and deleting fields with vector layers. And I'll add the card up above if you want to review that video. So I've got the, the shape file here that we've been using quite a bit. It's just a stream network. And I've got that loaded into my QGIS interface already. Um, so you can see what I'm looking at. But when I load this today, I'm just going to load it without adding it in again. So I don't have to worry about removing it. But it's just there for your reference for now. So I'm going to copy this file name first of all. And then I'm going to open a new script. And if you don't know how to open the... Python console, just come to plugins, Python console. So I'm going to add this file name in, uh, and then I'm going to create a new layer uh, with QGS vector layer. And I'm going to give it the file name. Uh, I'm going to give it an empty layer name, and then I'm going to give it a data provider OGR. Okay, um, so now we have that layer. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to get the feature count. This is the number of features in the layer. So I'm going to do layer uh, feature count. And then I'm going to loop through all the features in this layer. So I'll do four. Um, We'll do I in range zero FC. And so then I want to get that feature. So I'll do feet equals layer dot get feature. And I'll give it that index. And so this will return uh, the feature to the feet variable. So now that I have this feature, um, I can access its attributes. And let me show you what I mean in the attribute table here. So I'll open up this attribute table. And so you can see that there's all these rows. These are the features. So there's feature 1, feature 2, feature 3. Um, but it's going to be indexed from 0 on. So it'll be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 um, is what we're getting. So if I get feature 0, that'll be this first row here. And when I have that feature, I can access all these attributes. I can access the arc ID, the grid code, the from node, to node, and the length in meters. And it's actually really simple to access these. And so I'll show you how we can do that. The first way I showed you in a previous video is just by using the index to that field. So if I choose zero, it will print out this arc ID. What I'm going to do is I'm going to print out the uh, first field, which is grid code. And grid code is what our stream order is. So I'm going to print feature ID 1, or yeah, the, the second field, so the index of 1. Um, and that should give us a value of 2 for the first one. And what I'm going to do here is so we can keep this control, instead of going through all the features, I'm just going to go to the first feature. So this will only do it one time. And we can check and make sure this prints out too. So I'll go ahead here and I'll click Run, and you'll see that print out over here in the console on the left. Okay. And that actually printed out a value of 1. Not a value of 2 like we expected. But let's go ahead and we'll print out that first attribute and see what we get there. So 1, 1. So it's printing it out by arc ID. So you can see if we come down here to arc ID, uh, we get the 1 here. Okay. So the features, may have, I may have sorted these in a certain way, and the features don't line up with these numbers anymore. But you can see that when I go to arc ID 1, I get the correct grid code for that. Okay. So now the other way to access this is by actually giving it the field name. So I can do arc ID, 
and I'll just double check that here in a sec. And then I can do grid underscore code. And let's just make sure we have that right. That's correct. Okay. Um, and so I can just put in the layer name and that will also access these. So let's go ahead and click run and we should get the same result here. And sure enough, we get one one. Okay. Now let's go ahead and let's loop through all of these. So we'll put an FC here. And there are, I think are 296 features, maybe about that many it should tell us yet. So we have 296 features here. And so this will print out a whole long line of the arc ID and the grid code. And what I'll do here is I'll do the, um, the, the actual index of grid code also so that we can just make sure they compare correctly. So here we go, so I'll click run. And there you can see it printing all those out. And it stopped for a minute. There we go, we go down to 296, and we get 1-1. One, one. Um, and you can see that these match up using that method. So that's how you can go through, those are the two ways that you can access the attribute data using PyQGIS. Um, by using the index number for the field or the attribute, and then also by entering the field or attribute name. Uh, so pretty simple. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you want to see more videos as they come out, please go ahead and click subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for things you want to see in QGIS uh, with Python programming, go ahead and leave a com comment below, and I will try to get to those. Appreciate your support. Have a good day.